Okay, now this is F1.1. So I'm going to, this is F1.4, which is still very fast. Now let's increase it some more. Those wooden nails, focus maybe even a little bit. It's F2. Better in focus because it doesn't feel in the room, but the important thing is you can see it's a little darker. Now I'm just going to gradually ramp the focus of the air aperture up here. You can see now it's quite, it's getting quite dark. That's F5.6, which is usually the sharpest aperture, well, roughly about the sharpest. And then more, more, more. Now the aperture is closed down quite tight and it's very dark. That's, that's F16. And now focusing is easier F16. It's got pretty good focuses. You see the back target? It is totally blurry. It's also a little exposed because the aperture is quite high. Now, At this very wild picture, we have a paper thin depth of field. Paper thin. I can. Uh, I'll stop it. So you see back there, it's, it's just a blur. Whereas this is an overexposed, but pretty sharp. Now, up the aperture, just a skosh. One of the back is still blurry. This is a, at about f4. So we go from f1.1 to f4. I can see clearly what's in the back, but it's not sharp. So let's up the after a little bit more. Look at that. You can see it much better. And finally, let's take it all the way. Um, I'm going to increase the ISO. Okay. We're at f16. The front target is in focus. The back target is pretty much in focus. Now, I'm going to slowly drop the aperture. This is a bit brighter. By drop the aperture, I mean drop the F number. This is what we call. Still, see how bright it is? Because I got the ISO correct. I'm going to pause for a second and turn the ISO. Okay, ISO is now at 640. Uh, let's just check the focus here. Okay. Front target's in focus. Back target is blurry. That's an F4. I've told totally we saw four, and then we're going to slowly decrease, decrease the F number a bit more. A lot more light coming in. And it's really blurry. Yeah, the depth of field is really thin now. It, it's hard. To focus on anything really. You have to very carefully tweak it. And then you can see the effect. Okay, let's go at one more time. Right now we're at f1.1 and an ISO of 100. I'm going to increase the f number, which is the same thing as reducing the aperture. And I'm going to slowly increase it. And you will see the back target starting to come into focus. The front target still in focus. And by the time we get it cranked all the way up to F16, it's very dark because the aperture is so much smaller. But the focus, and I, I will increase the ISO so you can see it. Okay, there we are. Both targets are really in focus now um, at this F16. Now, I, I wouldn't normally recommend using F16 unless you really need the depth of field because you've got a little bit of diffraction. Um, but if that's what you need, you got to do it. And in fact, targets even further in the background are now in focus. I can see 
Um, a little bit, not as not as much, but uh, much more discernible. So that's depth of field and exposure in one demonstration.